Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome to our channel. Um, today I'm very excited to tell you that I've got a Peppa Pig magazine and uh, this is the official Peppa Pig's magazine and uh, retails it in the UK at £1.99. Um, this is issue 143 and um, in Australia it's uh, $5.95 and in New Zealand it's um, $6.90 so what have we got inside so actually on the front cover it's got this uh, fantastic free gift of uh, a f uh, sorry excuse me a free pepper phone toy so uh, what you do it's just, it's just got a, a scrolling screen here so you can just slide it along so that's uh, pepper pig and family pepper pig as a pirate and also another pepper pig as a pirate so that's great fun and it's got some little stickers on the bottom here of a telephone, a mobile phone, an ordinary telephone, uh, a video camera and um, a CD. So that's that's what that's all about. Um, here you've got uh, win a short uh, break to Peppa Pig World, that's Portons Park. And that's a great family fun day out. Um, this particular magazine is uh, the number one selling preschool magazine and uh, it's got 23 stickers inside also you can make um, potato sailboats and it teaches you how to do that plus workbook with phonics and there's a nice picture there of uh, Peppa Pig on the front so it sounds like it's absolutely jam-packed with lots of fun things to do so uh, let's get started so what have we got uh, on the first page here well tells you everybody that's uh, featured inside the magazine so we've got uh, Peppa, uh, George, Mummy, Daddy, Danny, Emily, Captain Doc and uh, Miss Rabbit so inside there are stories, prizes, recipes, um, a boating workbook and an extra play scene so lots and lots that they're telling you there and if you want to learn more about Peppa Pig or just join in more fun if you go to www.peppapig.com there's um, a whole sort of learning zone there that, that you might be interested in so uh, what we've got here is um, a page of stickers so you've got Captain Dog and Peppa Pig and uh, also this other character here and I'm not sure who that is but we might find out as we go along so here's a a little story here of uh, Peppa Pig with family and friends. Looks like they're going on a jolly boating trip. So uh, th that started off with a, a story there. Looks, looks good fun. So here we have um, a game. So this is a boat match. Uh, Peppa's boat has purple seats and pedals. So I wonder which boat it is. Is it a sailing boat? Is it a a canoe or is it a pedlo? Well, you need to decide. Um, Emily's boat is long and comes with paddles. Is it a sailboat? Is it a canoe? Is it a pedlo? You need to decide. Ah, here we are. Found out. This is Danny. So Danny's boat has a big sail and an engine. So is it a sailboat? Is it a canoe? Or is it a pedlo? So you need to decide and uh, here it tells you all about uh, winter trip to uh, Peppa Pig World so uh, Peppa Pig World is actually in uh, Winchester in the UK and if you go onto their website www.paultonspark.co.uk um, you'll be able to find out more about what's what's there but it does look good fun with Peppa Pig characters and uh, little rides there so that will be a grand day out I would say and so this is uh, the start of your Peppa Pig phonics workbook and uh, this is all about boating so what you'll need to do here is is to write your name there this workbook belongs to and then write your name and it says I am and then you pop your your age in there and here we are let's get started so uh, there's some fun counting there to do you can learn all your odds and evens and practice writing the numbers. And there's counting here. And then you can write some numbers here. 
Right, so on the next page is uh, a page to practice your writing. And so we go A, B, C, D, and then you can write the letter D in there. E, F, G, you can write the letter G in there. H, I, J, and then K, you can write the letter K there. L, M, N, O, P, you can write the letter P there. Q, R, S, the letter S inside there. T, U, V, the letter V, and W, X, Y, goes there, and Z to finish. When you finish, you can colour in the star as a little reward to yourself. So uh, colour in the boats that have B on them. So you need to decide which boats have B, and then you can uh, colour those in. And then once you've coloured them in, you can practice writing the letter B. And then you need to count how many how many boats that you've coloured and write the number in there. And also there's a, another section here. So what you need to do here is you need to circle the item that begins with the letter B. So that's a deck chair, a stamp or, and a bottle. So you need to decide which one to, to circle there. So here we need to fill in the letter to make up the word. So Peppa Pig is ringing a bell. So you need to write the correct letter in there. Uh, George is ho holding a boy. So you need to write the collect correct letter in there. Right, so that's that page. Uh, let's turn to the next. So here we've got spot the difference. And the first difference that I can spot is the sun. The sun is missing from this page. So there are six differences, as I say, to spot. So you need to go ahead and uh, see if you can spot the differences there. And uh, you need to look at these. You can colour them in if you like. And you need to spot the odd one out. Also, it says here, which object is used to steer a boat? Circle the correct answer. Is it a seashell? Is it a rope? Or is it a ship's wheel? So circle the item that you think. So here, draw a line from each letter to the picture that begins with the same letter sound. So let's take this one. So that's a fish. So you need to draw a line to the letter. So because fish begins with the letter F. So F for fish, that's what you need to do there. And you need to marry up all the different items to complete the little puzzle there. And here we have Captain Dog. So you can do your best colouring there and colouring that picture. Here we have, oh, this looks fun, a duck, duck collage, cut and stick to make your, your own duck by sticking these cutouts together. So you might like a, a grown-up to help you, but uh, there we are. Just cut out the pieces and make your very own duck. And here you can try drawing your very own duck. So it gives you a guide to show you how to do it. So that looks like fun too. So here, use the splodges to help you colour in the picture. So it's a bit like painting by numbers, but you can use your best crayons or pens for, for this particular activity. So each splodge tells you what colour you can paint or colour in each item. So here you can colour in um, the dress in red. So when you finish, you can just colour in the boy at the bottom and that's a, a little reward to say that you've finished. So here, this is fun, extra play scene. So uh, this is um, a cardboard sheet inside. So you've got uh, characters that you cut out and fold. And this is uh, a play scene. So you can make up stories and pop your characters into this play scene. And that would be great fun. So you can do that um, uh, with a parent or you can do that with some friends and uh, invite some friends over to tea and you can have uh, lots of fun with that, hours of fun I'd say. Ah right, so here, um, cut and stick the sailor's hat to make Danny look more real. So here we are, you can cut this one out, colour in Danny 
put the sailor's hat on and there we are that's something fun to do here Emily you can um, do the dot to dot so uh, this particular dot to dot is uh, numbers 1 to 17 so you've got to be very careful and go all the way around her outfit to get to the number 17 and here you can cut out George's telescope pop it in his hand and that, that makes it all more realistic so you can colour in these particular characters there as another activity and here, oh this is good fun, you can um, trace over um, Grumpy Rabbit so there we are, you can draw Grumpy Rabbit and then when you finish you can copy the one in the corner here and um, copy the same colour so that uh, you can make it just the same so here we have um, shapes, this is sort of a, a shape match game so you find all the different shapes within the pictures that we've got here so you find a triangle, a circle and a square so that's good fun and uh, Peppa and her friends are all enjoying boating trips colouring each object as you find them in the picture so if we start with the pedlo you can find the pedlo and colour it in when you found the hat I'd say that's Captain Dog's hat you can colour it in so that's sort of a matching game there and here we have a post-it page and that's lots of uh, children that have sort of uh, written into the magazine and they've either drawn a picture or painted a, a picture this is uh, from uh, Chloe age one and she's painted a beautiful picture there and uh, we've got Top Baker here down in the corner she's um, Ida from York and she's made some beautiful buns looks like she's tucking in and enjoying one there so that's a really nice page to see other children and how they have used their Peppa Pig magazine so here it looks like it's um, a space that you can uh, draw whatever picture you like really and then you can send it into the magazine and hopefully you might be a winner too like all these children here and look there's a jokes corner uh, which sea creature sings the best songs a tomb fish <laughs> right so here we go and last couple of pages now lots of uh, different things to do inside this Peppa Pig magazine so here we are practice sounds out of the letters C F and M so you can carry on and do that and also you need to uh, circle the correct missing letter there now I believe the word is boating so would it be an L, would it be a K or would it be a T so you need to circle which letter you think it is and here we have practicing your letter writing with the letter D and there's uh, filling in the, the missing letters here as well Right, so here we have um, well done keep and cut out certificates that you can uh, that you can do there. And there's a, a little last little sort of story on the back, uh, the boat pond. And we've got some more stickers here. And look, this is something to make: uh, make sailing boat potato skins. Oh, that looks delicious. So what would we need here? Uh, we would need to ask an adult to preheat the oven, uh, rub oil over potato skin and prick with a fork, put the potato on a baking tray and cook for one to one and a half hours. When it is cooled, cut the potato in half and scoop out the cooked potato. Mix with tuna, spring onions, creme fraiche, milk, lemon juice, sweet corn and Worcestershire sauce. That sounds great fun. Perhaps um, you can help a pet and um, ask a parent to help, and you can invite some friends over, and you can have a nice tea time treat. So that will be fun and uh, delicious and healthy to eat. So there's the stickers there that you can use in your magazine. And here's another recipe here, actually. Oh no, it tells you in more detail here of what you will need to make this fantastic 
um, same in boat potato skins. And there we are, you can make little flags as well just by cutting out, popping a cocktail stick in the middle and then popping it onto your potato. So in the next issue, you can make rocket sandwiches. That sounds fantastic fun. And there we are on the back, it'll tell you all the different things that's coming in the next magazine. And uh, that will be issue 144 and it's going to be on sale from Thursday the 19th of September. So there we are, that's the Peppa Pig magazine, that's issue 143. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review of uh, this particular magazine. I've got lots of other children's magazines that I've been reviewing from Thomas and Friends to uh, Disney Pixar car so don't forget to subscribe take care and come back again soon and in, enjoy your little telephone here bye for now